There are like numbers, not the numbers of blurs you can play with, but the ground, the motion blur is usually like you can change, you can um, set the angle of the blur, and the ground is more like horizontal way. So I would use motion blur with the, the horizontal angle. And you can change the distance of the blur. Just keep playing with the options you got. And enter to OK, and enter, uh, hit OK to confirm. And now you need to ex uh, subtract some area which is above the ground level. So here, use mark rectangular market to and then make sure the feather amount is zero. And select the area to which, it is up, which is above the ground level. And hit delete key to delete the area. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, delete. Oh, oh. Because my feather amount is, I since I click the feather amount, uh, my cursor is still active. Uh, is still activating the feather, so I need to click some other area. Click other function, and then go back to the market tool, and then click delete key to delete the area. And then this area, since we, uh, my elevation have two different ground level, so always follow the ground level of each side. For this one, you need to add, uh, add to selection by defining the, the stair shape. I selected the whole stairway and then delete, hit delete key to delete. Now I got ground texture. If you don't like the brightness of the ground, you can always adjust the color or brightness, using curve or brightness, whatever you please. So what I used was the, the adjustment tool, a layer adjustment tool. But also you can use, go to the image and then go to adjustment and then use curve. But it'll, it'll be easier for you to use curve adjustment layer for the background. So for the sky and other, the rest of the background, upper side of the ground, um, you, can, uh, you can use skyscraper or sky. Just find, Google it, any types of background you'd like to add. Um, but uh, I will show you how to add some, the building is more in, in uh, 
harder than the sky, so I will show you how to add uh, buildings um, for background, how to use buildings, or skyscraper. So when you select the background, always think about the perspective. So um, th since we are work uh, we are in the elevation view, so um, the with th when you select the uh, background, try not uh, try not to find some some uh, background that showing some types of perspective. So for example, this one is more like. It's more like, more seems more like flat rather than like perspective, but this one is kind of having an extreme perspective view, and like this or this, you should not <laughs> select this one because it's more you're facing toward the sky skyline sky view, so this is not the right angle. When you select the background, you always think about the angle of the view and uh, uh, angle and the lighting as well when you set, when you set that background so since you if your render is when if your render is coming from lighting of the render is coming from the left upper side when you select the background you, you should select the same types of light source angle uh, when you select the background but this one, I think it would look okay for my elevation, so I will copy this image. And then go back to my uh, Photoshop, and then create another layer above the background layer. Oh, but I need to place my a uh, floor finish, a ground finish above the skyline. And then paste it by c clicking Control V key. And Control T. And then try to make it fit. And then if you find the right size, enter to confirm. What you need to do is to soft shake. Um, soft shake the area, interior area. So I will rather use market tool to subtract the background of the ceiling. But since if you have the window, sh you should leave the window as it is because all the window you 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 need to see through the background through the window. need to add some material in between to empty this empty area. I will copy this portion
Now we have, uh, I have to the back of the floor ground and the background and uh, the view of the window. And I think that I need to change the opacity because it's currently it's too vivid. So I think I don't think the background should not disturb the, the elevate the real elevation because the elevation is the thing I would like to show to the client or the, the other viewers. Background is not the thing I would like to show. Background is more like source, more like uh, additional, like spice that could that would be uh, that would be make the food more delicious. So the but the main ingredient of this meal is the elevation. Try not to make a background um, interrupts the view of the elevation. So that is why I would rather use um, the, the sky because the, it does it really does not interrupt the view. But sometimes the reason why I'm sure the, the skyline is that is um, sometimes you might need to add some background of the, the actual site when you render to make it more uh, more like realistic so that's why I'm showing showed you how to add uh, find some material uh, background for the of using building so in I'll change the opacity and Now what I'm going to do is to add some glazing effect for the window. Because currently it's not, we cannot tell there's a window or not. It's, it's just, just, the window is just coming, 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 we can just see through the holes. So I would like to add some glazing effect. And I believe it won't take long time. It will be like one or two stroke will be done. <coughs> So when you, I need to use magic, magic wand tool to select the inner side of, to select the window area. So when you use magic wand tool, you always go back to the layer zero, the la line walk layer. And then um, find the magic wand tool and then select the area. It's really quick and easy using magic wand tool. Okay. Then create a new layer. Then move it to below the layer zero. So this, I'll rename it to glazing. And I'm going to use brush tool size like 20 or 30 let's see let's start from 20 and then hardness uh, like 70 to 80 because for glazing effect you don't need that you don't need the much um, uh, smooth edge for glazing effect so I would I would increase the hardness to 80 oh, uh, you have the, size of? Uh, the brush size yeah I currently I'm having a 20, 20 pixel, but it, I think it's too big. So I would rather use 10 point, 10 pixel. Mm -hmm. And then you, um, 
select the color for the glazing effect. So I would use a little bluish, a little light bluish color. A little bit of blue tint. And then click. shift hold the, click and hold the shift key and then click to draw and then it, 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 um, to make straight line click and shift key and then click click and shift key and then click click and shift key and then click to so draw several shade um, glazing for each window would be sufficient. Click and shift key hold click and hold shift key and then click. Click and hold the shift key and then click. first and then hold the shift key and then click. Oh. Did it work? Yeah. 